How do you edit the footer on your Wix site? It's actually pretty easy and you can edit it on any page. So if we scroll down to the bottom of our page, we're gonna find our footer. And this is from any page that includes the footer. So down here, this footer is shared across pages and we can click on it and make edits to it just like any other section on our site. First off, if I feel like this footer is way too small, I can drag and adjust the footer height just by dragging this down or up to uh, increase or decrease the height of the footer. Now there is a way that you can do some quick edits here. So for instance, I have a paragraph block, a menu, and some social icons with the social bar widget. I can hit quick edit. That's gonna zoom out on my site so I can scroll down so I can see it again. It's very tiny down here. However, on the right hand side, we have this quick edit section where we could edit any paragraphs, edit any menus, edit the social bar links, etc. Now, that's just for the quick edit. So you can actually get in here and make tweaks yourself. So I could come in here to this paragraph and for instance, remove the powered and secured by Wix just by pressing the delete key. And this is simple paragraph text. I can add any element to this bottom area. For instance, maybe I don't want a horizontal menu. So I'm going to click on that and delete it. And maybe I want to come up here and add an element, a menu element. Like for instance, if we find menu, menu and anchor, there it is. We could do a vertical menu instead. So maybe I want this vertical menu down here instead of the horizontal one. When you click and drag an element out here, you'll see this uh, orange pop-up that says attached to footer. So this menu is going to be attached to the footer itself. Maybe I need a little bit more space here for this menu and I can bring it down and then drop this text down below and I could edit the text and center it. You can see how I can just bring these items around and make adjustments to my footer. Locks into the center there. We've got a horizontal menu here on the left. I could build out some columns if I wanted to and make a lot of edits here to my footer. Another thing you can do with menus, this menu is directly linked to the site pages, but if I go to the settings here, I can set it as an advanced menu. So if we set it as an advanced menu, it won't be synced to our site pages, but it means that we can have other menu items in here aside from what our pages are. So if we wanted to add menu items that could be other site pages that aren't, or that might be hidden from the menus or the menu structure, we could add in links, sections, anchors. So if you wanted some extra elements down here, like the contact page, or maybe an affiliates page or something like that, you could add in links to those pages down here that don't exist in your main navigation. So you could set up whatever you want down here. You could also pull in, uh, if you actually wanted to do columns, let's go ahead and just delete everything out of our footer here. You can see how we can edit things. We can just delete everything in there. We can do all sorts of edits, but I actually have a tutorial on how to add columns and what we would use is a strip. And so we could bring in a strip out here to our footer and attach it to our footer. We can drag this strip around, kind of lock it into the top part. We can actually make it the size of our footer if we scale this properly. We can scale the footer down to the strip size, basically. So we'll scale this up first. We can scale this strip down a little bit, and then we can scale that back up. Oh, and we squashed the footer a little bit there. Anyway, we'll scale this down until we get it to the proper size. And we actually have an undo button. So let's undo a couple times. There we go. So we have this strip in here. And before we do anything, let's go ahead and add some columns to this strip. And so we can go to the, I believe we can go to the layout, add column. Now we have a two column strip. We can manage the columns. Uh, we can make sure that we add another. So if we wanted three columns down here, we could do that. And then underneath the layout is going to be the percentage of the sizing of the columns. And we can also, instead of stretching it all the way across, we could just make it the page width. So now we have these columns down here that we can work with. And these columns don't have to equal each other. You can go back to layout and you can see that there's some different percentages that you can do here. You can also set your own custom percentages. So if you wanted the first two columns to be kind of short and then a longer space for more of like paragraph text, you could do that. Now what you would do is just 
add elements to each of these column areas and they will stay with the columns. They'll actually attach to the columns. You can bring the footer up so it's the size of your columns and you're good to go then. You actually uh, are able to create these column layouts in your footer uh, by just adding elements and adding this strip element. You also don't have to have this as a white background. You could just simply come in here to the strip if we find the strip again and we could go to our, let's go to manage columns first. I forget where the background is, but we'll be able to find it here in a second. Uh, we have layout, strip layout. Actually, we need to click on the strip right here and change the column background right there. So each of these columns has its own background. You could just click none on these and then your columns will have no background. So now you have no background. You could actually just change the footer design. And in here, there's all kinds of different designs you could select. You can also go down to customize design and completely customize your footer design down here and change the fill color and opacity, for instance, instead of gray, we could go to black. We could make sure the center background is the same black. And now we have a dark concept footer and we could add in whatever we want in here into our columns. and that's how you can edit your footer. Your footer is just another section and you can add a lot of things to it here on Wix.